Okay, today we're going to start learning about the LCM, which is the least common multiple. First thing we're going to do is compare and contrast LCM and GCF. Um, one thing they have in common is that they both have a letter C, right? That's kind of obvious. Uh, the way we deal with this C is a little bit differently um, because the main difference between the two is that in the LCM, when you're talking about multiples, um, multiples usually stand for or mean, you know, more, they're greater than, they are the product of a multiplication, whereas the factors are the building blocks or the pieces or the actual things that are multiplied together, so they're smaller. So, let's see, let's start with GCF because we started over here, okay. Um, GCF is dealing with the greatest um, factors are smaller than the product. And when we're comparing two numbers, we only look at the common factors only. Okay, so let's compare and contrast then with GCF, or oh, sorry, LCM. Okay, in the LCM we're looking at the least, okay, multiples are the products, they're more, they're greater than. And even though it has the C, we know that the two things we're comparing are the starting points. The two things we're looking at are the factors. And so they have to be visible in our answer. So, for instance, even if you don't see that part of it, even if they don't have, like if we're doing the monomials tomorrow, the variable in common, it still has to be a building block part of the end result or multiple. So um, all parts must be visible in our answer. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. So if we're to find the least common multiple of 6 and 8, good news, we can use the latter method. And we can do it the same way. So we can start with 2. Okay. Once I get to the part where none of them have anything in common, okay, right, the greatest common factor here that I could divide by would be 1. For least common multiple, we want to multiply in the shape of an L, okay, because we're talking about a multiple of 6 and a multiple of 8. It's not just the parts or the constituents like the factors were. It is the whole picture. So we want to multiply everything in the outside rung of the ladder, so to speak. So 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24. Now, let's think about what 24 is. 24 is a multiple by, of 6. It is the third multiple of 6, right? 6 times 3. Sorry, 6 times 4. Um, 24 is the third multiple of 8. I had that backwards. And it is 8 times 3. It's not the only common multiple between the two but it is the smallest or the least. Obviously, if we multiply these two numbers together, we know that 48 is another multiple, but it's not the least common multiple. So that's the most common mistake students make is they multiply the two numbers together or they don't find a way to, um, to get the lowest common multiple of the numbers. All right, we're gonna watch this video.
um, of using finding the LCM of three numbers using the ladder method because it's a little bit different than how we did it with the GCF. Okay, so let's give this a try. We are going to find the LCM of 56, 84, and 112. We want to do some divisibility rules here. Um, and if I look at these numbers, I can tell for sure that, let's see, 56 is divisible by 4, 84 is divisible by 4, and since the last two digits of 112 is divisible by 4, I can start with 4. Of course, they're all even. I could start with two. Um, it really won't matter uh, what we do. 
but we'll go ahead and make things a little easier by starting with 4. So 56 uh, divided by 4 is 14. 84 divided by 4 is 21. And 112 divided by 4 is 28. Now looking at these um, next, all three of them in this rung have a factor of 7. So I can divide by 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 21 divided by 7 is 3. And 28 divided by 7 is 4. Looking at this third row or rung on the ladder, I look at 2 it's even, 3 is not, 4 is even. So I know for sure that 2 and 4 are divisible by 2. So I want to make sure that I divide out if at least two of the three numbers have a common factor. We have to get all of them out. So if I divide by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 3 divided by 2, oh, it's going to give me a decimal. I can't do it. So I can just bring 3 down. It gets a free ride, right? It comes right down into the next rung. 4 divided by 2 would be um, 2. Now I have a 1, a 3, a 2. All three numbers are relatively prime. So now I've gotten it down to where there's no common factors even among two of them. I want to do my um, multiplication in this one in the shape of an L. Okay, whether you circle them or draw an arrow. All right, it's okay to use the multiplication sign. And multiply. So 4 times 7 is going to be um, 28. 28 times 2 is going to be 56 times 1 times 3 times 2. So our least common multiple for this number is 336. And you might be saying, is that right? The LCM is 336. So let's remember what it means. It has to be a common multiple to all three numbers. And if you recall back to um, one of our warm-ups several weeks ago when we did the calendar problem, when we were watering the plants, we had a cactus and house plants and on which dates or, you know, what was the earliest time that we would, or date on the calendar that we would be multi, uh, watering the plants on the same date if we watered one every six and one every eight, kind of similar to our example one, it would be on the 24th day of the month. So um, that's, what, that's what multiples mean. So sometimes it takes to get very high up into their multiples and the answers will be large. Now, if I had stopped right here at this rung of the ladder, notice that I would have an extra factor of 2. So always be sure if you get an answer that is really high, look at your bottom rung of the ladder and check for the divisibility. Make sure that no two of the three numbers have a common factor. Um, so make sure that that last rung is all relatively prime, and that's a very important step, or they will be even over large, you know, more so than they need to be. Okay, let's give it a try. I want you to take some time and practice this on your own. So 24, 72, are both divisible by 4. So we have 6, 18. I didn't even use the smallest factor, did I? Because now they're both divisible by 6. Um, okay. So now that we have 1 and 3, and they're the least common multiple here, or the lowest, they're relatively prime in the last row, I can multiply in the shape of an L. And the least common multiple becomes 72. And that makes sense, right? Because 72 is a multiple of itself, 72 times 1. And then for 24, it's 24 times 3. So each of the starting points 
are a factor of the answer or the solution in this case, right? And it's going to be more than, it's going to be equal to or greater than those numbers. Well, let's try another. Eight, twenty-two, and forty-four. Let's try two. Okay. In this case, um, I've got two even numbers, and then I also have two numbers, 11 and 22, that have a factor of 11. It really won't matter which ones I start with, so I'll go ahead and start with um, 2, because it's even. 4 divided by 2, 11 is not divisible by 2, so it gets a free ride to the last row. 22 divided by 2 is 11. Anytime you have the same number in the last row, other than 1, you have a common factor. So we can divide by 11. This 2 gets a free ride. 11 divided by 11 is 1. So now when we multiply in the shape of an L, we have 2 times 2 times 11 times 2 times 1. So the least common multiple becomes 88.